Hello everyone, today I have an unexpected model in front of me. When I reviewed the BYD Dolphin Electric Hatchback, I was confident that it was the smallest model in the Ocean lineup. However, I pleasantly made a mistake. In the middle of the spring 2023, the Chinese market saw a new model from BYD, the electric city car BYD Seagull. And this is the car that I have for review today. You're watching the Volt Auto channel. Glory to Ukraine. Glory to the heroes. Let's get started. At the beginning of the review, I want to remind you that the BYD is one of the largest automobile manufacturers in China, holding leading positions in the sales of electric sedans and crossovers. It seems that the BYD aims to capture a significant portion of the urban compact electric car market. The new model is expected to help the company achieve its next goal, namely to sell over 3 million cars this year. The new urban city car is named Seagull and it is set to join the most modern lineup of electric cars called Ocean. The compact hatchback stretches to 3.78 meters in length with a wheelbase of 2.50 meters. While it may seem a bit small, the electric car has a lot to offer. This model falls into the a class. Its width is 1.71 meters, height is 1.54 meters and it has the ground clearance of 17 centimeters. The car can be equipped with wheels ranging from 15 to 16 inches in diameter. All lightning is LED even in this class and there is a reason for that. In essence, the Seagull is a scaled down and simplified version of the Dolphin model which I will describe in more detail later. Market experts predict a bright future for this new model in China, even better than that of the Dolphin, which enjoys very good demand, with over 25,000 units sold monthly. By the way, they share the ePlatform 3.0, meaning these cars have common technical components and a unified design concept. Buyers can choose from two configurations. The first comes with an electric motor producing 55 kilowatts or 75 horsepower and the 30.8 kWh battery providing a range of 305 km. The same motor can be paired with a larger 38.8 kWh battery extending the range to 405 km. This model is equipped with a blade battery, which the company claims to be the safest on the market. The Seagull has a top speed of 130 km per hour and it accelerates from 0 to 50 km per hour in 5 seconds. Before we move on to the interior, let's briefly talk about the Dolphin model and its updated version. As you may know, the Dolphin electric hatchback has been on the market since late 2021. Despite its good demand, BYD decided to update the model in the first half of 2023 for the local market, renaming it Hightone, which also means Dolphin. Notably, this model became the first in a company's lineup based on the ePlatform 3.0. With over 300,000 electric dolphins sold, BYD decided on a light modernization. The model received a minor facelift, updating the rear bumper, wheel designs and adding a rear windshield wiper, which was previously omitted to cut costs. Inside, the rear seat now has a split backrest and a central armrest has been added. New options include heated front seats, power adjustments for the passenger seat and an auto mode for the windows. The most significant change is that there is no longer a version with a smaller battery. All Dolphins now come with a 45 kWh lithium iron phosphate battery. The version with a 70 kW or 95 horsepower motor now has a range of 420 km on a single charge according to the NEDC cycle. The top version with 130 kW or 177 horsepower motor using the same battery can cover 401 km. The media system display has also grown to almost 13 inches. In addition to the Dolphin and Seagull, the Ocean lineup includes the Seal and the Sea Lion 07 models. The interior of the Seagull is designed almost like the larger models in this lineup, though simpler in details. For instance, the instrument panel has a 5-inch screen and the touchscreen for the media system is 10 inches. It's understandable since in China they could have installed a 15-inch screen like in the larger models, but it would simply be inconvenient. However, it's essential to know that even this 10-inch screen is rotatable, just like in all BYD models. 
Thus, the same technologies used in the Seagull are found in larger models, such as the flagship electric crossover tank or the most popular model, the Song. The selection of driving modes is controlled by a small drum among the buttons on the front panel, offering a unique solution for this car. I would also like to highlight the presence of air conditioning and cruise control. In this electric car, you'll find everything that should be in a modern vehicle, including the start and stop button. On the second row, as expected, there are only two seats for adults. The backrest of the rear seat folds entirely, resulting in a trunk volume of 930 liters. Considering the car's class, there is no center armrest when the seat back is folded, but there are two headrests. It's worth mentioning that with the folded backrest you get an uneven floor, and the standard trunk volume is less than 300 liters. There are no hidden compartments with a panel or a spare tire. Charging ports are located on the right front fender, as it's standard for the BYD models, on the left, the smaller diameter port is of the gb gac standard, allowing charging from a household outlet. Next to it, on the left, is the gb gdc fast charging port for the fast charging stations. So, how do you like the third electric car from the most modern ocean electric lineup from the most expensive automaker in China? I'm sure that for this price, everyone will appreciate this electric car. And that's it for today, I'll see you in the next review.